Okay. So, this is what I call a time-honored tradition. You following me? Well, stop following me, or I'll have you arrested. <laughs> That's Groucho Marx. So, there's a guy. We'll call him John. He's working on his front yard, and as he's working on his front yard, he notices that the house across the street from him has been vacant. That This house has been vacant for quite a while. Um... And it's been up for sale. There's a new guy moving into this place. So what he decides to do is be the good Samaritan. <laughs> so he walks across the street and he's like, Hi, my name's John. Welcome to the neighborhood, new best friend. And new best friend says, Hi, my name is Mike. And Mike's like, Well, thank you very much. So John's like, what do you do for a living? Like, why, why, why'd you move here? <coughs> so close to a university and such, since we live in a college town. And Mike's like, so, I moved here because I'm a college uh, professor. Um, I just, I, I'm very logical, so I, I teach a class on logic, and right now, the emphasis is on deductive reasoning following me so far? Okay, cool. So, John's kind of confused. He's like, what the heck is deductive reasoning? I've never heard of that before. I've never read a Sherlock Holmes novel. Uh, no, no, not honestly. I'm talking about this guy, John, that, I, that I've heard about. Anywho, <laughs> So, Mike just, he, he's like, well, you know, John, it's easier for me to give you an example. Do you own a doghouse? And John's like, well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I do own a doghouse. And Mike says, it really just rolls from there. Because, from what I'm gathering, looking at you right now, you own a doghouse. You just told me that. And I'm looking at your house, and it's a big house. It's like, it's a family house. So you probably have a family. And because you have a family, I'm thinking you're married. And if you're married, you're probably with a woman, and you have a couple of kids, and this makes this dog the family dog. And because you have a family, I surmise that you are heterosexual. And John's like, you know what, you were right on all counts. Look at that. That's so sensational. And so blah, blah, blah. Mike's like, well, well, you know, we'll probably have a beer and go to Shady O's and sing karaoke sometime. Anyway, John is like, well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That sounds like a whole hell of a lot of fun. Let's look forward to somebody doing a vlog nine years from now. Anywho. <laughs> so, later on, John's still working on his front yard. Mike continues moving his stuff in. And uh, John's other best friend, Nick, comes over. And Nick gets out of his Mustang, and Nick's like, Hey, John, how you doing? And John's like, I'm great, man. I just met this really cool guy who lives right across the street. His name's Mike, and he's a really smart guy. He, he's a college professor at the college right down the street. And he's emphasizing on deductive reasoning. And Nick's like, what the heck is deductive reasoning? So John gets really cocky. And John's like, well, Nick, it's better if I try to give you an example. Do you own a doghouse? Nick says, no. And John says, <laughs> fag. Get it? One of my favorite jokes.